so the the final part of the uh, strategy concerns arriving back arriving back to the heliport and then uh, getting back uh, home and I'd like to talk about two aspects of, of that one is around safe havens uh, and that's quite simply the hotels um, in and around the the heliport and we're talking about six locations there we're talking about in Sumbra we're talking about Inverness because that service is uh, Invergordon uh, we're talking about Aberdeen uh, Humberside Norwich and Blackpool so it's not just uh, Aberdeen concentric it's across the uh, the piece and we're working with hotel owners hotel chains the hotel associations for uh, across the UK uh, and we're trying to establish okay well first of all we need to make sure those hotels stay open uh, in the vast majority of cases the hotels are opening and those that are closed and may have been closed for some time are actually saying well we we could open if uh, if you uh, if you need us to do that uh, and what category of people can they uh, can they accept and by and large they're accepting what we would call category a so new normal crew change and even the category b which is those that may or may not been in, in close contact but uh, have uh, you know, not shown any uh, any symptoms of, of COVID-19. Uh, I'll be honest, we have less of a, uh, more of a challenge around the category C, those people that are arriving uh, onshore uh, with uh, suspected symptoms. And I think they're going to be picked up in the next thing that I'm going to uh, to talk about. But we're working hard to make sure that the, the hotels are uh, available for the offshore workforce uh, and they can get in them. Uh, and they can rest assured that this, the precautions that are required that the government have, uh, have given to the hotel owners in terms of good, good advice is being followed. And then the other part I was going to talk about was the safe passage concept. And again, there's a logistics group that are looking at all of, uh, of these, uh, made up of a lot of logistics experts from contractors and from the uh, uh, operators. Uh, and this concept is really how can we ensure the uh, the safe sort of uh, travel from really from when the individual leaves their their home to when they arrive at the heliport and then how they get uh, get back uh, and that is in a number of, of ways it's talking about uh, well there are uh, taxis that are provided to uh, provided there to uh, to take uh, people to and from uh, but we're looking at the, the the bigger scheme in terms of could we uh, look at uh, buses mini buses and I know that there's some already some uh, hotel uh, sorry uh, taxi companies out there uh, talking about um, a service that they could provide uh, and running a, a bus service but we're also using at least three or four companies that are in their own rights a sort of crisis management companies that manage the transportation of people across the, uh, the UK so all of these good things is what the logistics uh, group is uh, is looking at and they'll be able to provide a range of, uh, of options for operators and contractors, uh, supply companies and vendors, uh, a range of options for them to, uh, to look at. Uh, 